Boom. Yo. Boom. Painting wall rats, like doing one to rap, but it is kind of. Pull a shirt, I'm a dumb shirt. Tight jeans with. Hey, and welcome back to Everything Cash. Cash here. Thank you for joining me. This week, we have my vintage haul. Last year, no, earlier this year, I went to Value Village, and I just shot a quick little five-minute uh, video showing you just being in there. They're a bit older, but at least I revived them. So I wore them like twice in the summer with biker shorts, so yeah. I'll probably save them because I don't really wear too much low-cut sneakers in the winter. Like sneakers like this, slip-ons. This is more like a summer shoe. So I'll save them for next summer, but at least I have a pair because I was going to buy a whole new pair of those. But I knew. Like, I already had a pair. I had those years before. They were even cool. So, next item. Next item is going by the vintage haul, if you did watch. I actually tried this jacket on at the end. I ended up getting it. And it's this, like, uh team jacket it's from helmington high school i didn't google where that is but it's made with canada sportswear so the jacket itself was made in canada so that's letting me to believe probably that this school is in canada probably maybe not but i like it it's purple i dry cleaned it but it was like like look at the leather it was like brand new and i don't really like the 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 Helmington wall racks like the one wants to wrap but it is kind of cute like the pink and the purple and it's just such like in good condition and I was a team player but here in like the state I live in um you would have to play like when I did play outside of school if your parents paid money on a team that's when you got a letterman's jacket we didn't just get these in normal high school and normal grade school like America because I was I was on the track team always basketball sometimes and volleyball so I would have got a letterman's jacket in high school they like I don't know why maybe it's because of funding we don't have this kind of and I that's what I think I hate about Canada because I would have had you know I went to a couple high schools so I probably would have had two three letterman jackets because I played any school I went to I played sports so and I was the only child, so my mom could buy me the damn jacket. So that's why I'm sad. So even though I had to get someone else's, I finally got a Letterman jacket. But I've had one before from, like, Tommy or Polo. I've had this style, but not, like, wool. Like, it was cotton with, like, fake leather arms. But that was, like, years ago. But, like, yeah, I like this one. So whoever owned it was named Jay, which I have a couple cousins. that That's their first name, so... I could act like it's my cousin's jacket, and then their number was 72, which is nothing close to my number. I liked, thir I had 33 and 32 before because of Ewing and Johnson, and then I had 14 a lot because that was, um, that's my birth date, the 14th of September. So, but 72 ain't a bad, like, seven's one of my favorite numbers, so 72 ain't a bad probably wasn't a bad year and isn't a bad number so yeah it's um it's a large but I don't think this is a men's large and if it is I feel like this is more a boy's coat like I don't think it's a men's large because a men's large is too big for me this is fitting me like a medium so I'll show you in the try oh yeah I put the tag in the pocket from last year this is technically and it was in a men's coats and ski jackets and I got it for $10.99, but I didn't know Value Village, like, one day a month, everything's half price, but whatever, it's 10 bucks. like, I bought worse for $10, so I got full price, I don't mind. The only thing I don't like, after it came back from the dry cleaner, like, it's kind of frayed here. This was, like, perfect new, the, like, you know, the sweater material here, so it kind of, they kind of frayed it a bit, but other than that, I love this jacket, so yeah. I'm gonna get up a bit so you guys can see like you guys pretty much know my build this is not like if this was forever 21 this is definitely a medium this could even be a small men's this is not large so that's why I like it like if you didn't know me it looks like my jacket you know what I mean so I like it Farmington wall rats number 72 you know but I love it like and this is like real leather so like I have these new shoes that haul will come out probably in a month because I'm ordering one more sneakers but I have a sneakers that even though my purple is a bit lighter when I do take a picture of this for Instagram I'm gonna probably wear those there's some Reeboks I've wanted for a while probably those a white tee I don't know black jeans and just the sneakers or maybe yes 
my freaking windbreaker pants with the purple but my, that might be purple overload but I love this jacket all right I just love it you know what I'm wearing it for the rest of the video because I just love it and I love it and yeah last year when I got it I I wore it one time before dry cleaning I took the risk of getting freaking lice in my ass or bed bugs, but I didn't get anything and then I dry cleaned it the next time and I think it was March when I bought this so I wore it like twice before I had to retire it so it's just been in a bag like tied up in my closet since then so I can't wait because it's getting cold again that's why I had to do this video now because I'm gonna I want to do some Instagram pictures with it but I'm also probably gonna be wearing it on a regular when I go out so or just in life you know what I mean so yeah this is baby the shoes okay so the last two items are purses this um I actually got this around the same time but not at the same like uh what's it called <clears throat> not at value village I got this at another thrift place called national thrift like a couple months before it cost me $3.99 and it is this lovely like bucket like Esprit bucket bag and that's why I got it because a I love like leather purses and like this is real like probably that cobbled leather but like oh brown's one of my favorite colors so I just saw this in boss Esprit I was like nah this is fucking bad like for summertime like the boating look so I've never used it oh it's a little dusty in there I don't know if you can see that dust in the kana but it also has the leather it's not in boss it's just written on here and then it's like pocket yeah like you know and I just loved it like the thin ditzy string it sold like 80s 90s I guess I could pull it through here to make it tighter but uh, I would just leave it as is because I don't really cross body my bag I shoulder bag them so like yeah this for me I probably wouldn't go out with this this is more like the everyday look but like summer jeans a white top and just this and like brown sandals you can't go wrong and it's such like you know it's it, to me it's in pretty good condition like other than like the wear and tear there you know an Esprit probably in the 80s this bag only costs like 40 50 bucks but you see when you make things with like good leather how they like last even this has leather on it the pull tab so I like it I think this was for four bucks like one of my best investments I just kind of forgot about it because I put all these things together in the summertime because that's when I was supposed to do this through fall and um, so I never got to wear that this summer. So for sure next summer, or if I go on vacation, I will be wearing my Esprit leather bag. Okay, so the last bag, the last bag, the bag now, because it's like a mini bag style. Oh, so many things about this bag, like style-wise, I love. So it's this little like Tommy bag. First thing I like about it, the short handle. You guys know, the short handle kind of bags that like 90s or like not 90s, early 2000s look is back again. I love it because I love like uh, like this industrial look. You guys know if you know my white clear buckle purse. I feel like I have a buckle belt. Like I'm into this look. It makes it just look edgy. And then as you can see, dusty, like dusty. I like these like very industrial whole things. Like, oh, this is like a little hair tie. And then it's just a little pocket. Oh, mesh at the bottom. Oh my God. There was actual 10 cents in there. I'll leave it. That stuff's lucky when you find money like that. So it's just this. Oh my God. Well, there's cigarette in this back pocket here. Like, so I put half a cigarette in there and I used to smoke. So it is my, let me see. Oh, this was a receipt. I'm just really trying to mark if this is my purse. I can't see it's faded. It looks like, like a quarter store, but I can't see what was bought. But it has cigarette in here, so most likely this is my purse. Oh, another paper. It's part of the envelope. Oh, see? Yeah, it is my purse. In case I don't have a lighter, I lose my lighter, I keep matches in some of my bags. So, Belmont matches. These, this is my purse. So, inside, it just has, I don't know if you guys can see, just a general size pocket, enough for, like, a small camera, your phone, maybe your charger, you know, a little bit of lipstick and makeup. Not bad size. 
and then it has an inside pocket and then also the back pocket so technically you can put your phone here and keep a lot of stuff so I can't wait to um this is another one I probably won't tape this DIY because it's not that serious it's just more dust that's on the bag but I'm gonna wash this and like maybe not for my everyday but for like my club bag especially like I like the look of it maybe when I'm wearing um my windbreaker pants I'll probably style it with this bag so that's why I gotta wash it so I can style it and with like maybe one of my chunky like take this jacket off I can't even put it on over the jacket maybe with like one of my like chunky like sneakers I'm gonna do like oh yes my clear jacket I have a sheer like jean it's cut like a jean jacket the sheer jacket this chunky sneakers small glasses do a very early 2000s look maybe even get a damn bucket bag but yeah I definitely got to clean this and get this in the rotation at least for Instagram because this is too cute like right now I could put this on Depop and this baby will sell because Tommy is very in now and it's so very whoa retro -y styled it's, I don't know it was this no it doesn't say Tommy girl when it says Tommy girl I know it was a kid's item this is actually Tommy adult because it didn't say Tommy girl anywhere like on the buttons it just says Tommy Hilfiger not Tommy girl so this is an adult purse so basically yeah sorry for rambling that was it just a couple accessories because the next of um vintage haul we do will be all clothes there will be no accessories that's why i just put them all here da, 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 da. we're done so thanks once again for watching stay tuned for next week because we're back to fashion Fuck this shit, I'm out.